Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy Font the Premier video and this one guys I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 12 beta 6 to an iPhone SE on iOS 10.3.3. So as always, stay tuned. Both devices, iOS 12 beta 6, iOS 10.3.3. Apple logo appeared first on the 12 beta 6. So let's see which one will be faster. This, the new beta or this legend 10.3.3, which is actually, in my opinion, one of the best OS's. So let's see which one will be faster here. Oh wow, iOS 12 beta 6 will actually Faster, but then 10.3.3 came right behind. Now guys, both phones have nothing in the background, as you can see. So I'm gonna start with calendar. It was actually faster in 12 beta 6. Great stuff. Photos was faster in 12 beta 6. Camera, identical. Going out, going for maps. And that was about the draw. Clock, 12 beta 6. Wow, weather. 10.3.3 a little faster, news. About the same. Leaving, going for stocks, which is slow on iOS 12. Well, actually, it's getting faster. Phone dialer, faster on 12 beta 6. Safari, 10.3.3, gonna click on learn more. And that was, I think, faster on 12 beta 6. Nice stuff, going for App Store. Better on 12 beta 6, nice. iTunes. And loading latest content was actually faster on 10.3.3. Settings, 12 beta 6, millisecond faster, but it is faster. Actually, benchmark, third party app here, faster on 10.3.3. So, third party apps starts to look like 10.3 is better. Nope. 12 beta 6 this time, Instagram. And 12 beta 6, good stuff. Subway Surfers. So maybe 12 beta 6 is improved here. Let's see. Loading bar appeared first 12 beta 6. Great. Wow. Okay, let's, sorry guys. Didn't wait for that to load. Temperan 2. So it seems like 12 beta 6 is actually doing good here. Really good. I mean, for the first time, it's better than Tempo 3.3 in every single app almost, except for the benchmark. Wow, guys. If you can see here, there's a difference. Wow, wow, some big difference here. That's 12 beta 6, 100%, guys. I mean, that's the one on Tempo 3.3. This is the first time, actually, I'm kind of kind of getting confused here. So Mario Run, wow. Impressive performance in 12 beta 6. Wow, solid performance. Leaving, going for Google Earth. I'm so impressed now. Wow, 12 beta 6 was actually faster. Great, going for YouTube. And gain 12 beta 6. Jetpack Joyride. And let's see here. 12 beta 6 again. Wow. Leaving. Yelp. And 12 beta 6. eBay. And wow, 12 beta 6 again, leaving, going for Snapchat, some hesitation there, and definitely 12 beta 6 was actually faster. So amazing performance, guys, to be honest. Now, guys, for some multitasking, let's see if uh, RAM is as good as performance. So calendar, okay, I think I had to refresh. Photos, had to refresh. Ouch. Camera, had to refresh here, was it actually faster on 12 beta 6. Maps, oh, a refresh. Weather, a refresh again. Clock, uh, a refresh. News, okay, that was good. That was a refresh here. Stocks, a refresh on 12. Safari, a refresh on 12. Phone, a refresh on 12 again. I don't know why. App Store, okay, that was kept in the background. iTunes Store, saw that the benchmark is always refreshing, so we have always faster on 10.3.3. Geekbench 4, Instagram, Solid Subway Surfers. So I think guys, it's iOS 12 refreshes uh, stock apps. Maybe just the way it is, because the third-party apps are zooming really good. Tempran 2, as you can see. Mario Run. Google Earth. YouTube. Jetpack Joyride. 
Yelp, eBay, Find Snapchat. So guys, iOS 12 had to refresh stock apps, but when it comes to third-party apps, it was really solid. So I think it's just an issue with iOS 12. Now guys, going for a Geekbench 4 test. Right guys, both phones are done here. I wanna say that definitely iOS 12 has scored better in both single and multi-core score, which is a good thing here. I mean, the performance was actually this time really better on iOS 12. So these, this time finding these cores makes sense. All right guys, I wanna point out that this phone has a perfect battery where this has a 13% wear level. So, and um, right guys, that's why this phone lost more battery, but still, I mean, if this wouldn't be perfect, it would lose like six, 7%, so still, Definitely this one has a better battery and it has a 1% wear. All right guys, there we have it. That was a comparison. I want to say that I'm really happy iPhone SE on iOS 12 beta 6 was faster than Tempo 3.3, so better performance. Um, with the RAM management, it had to refresh all stock apps, uh, third party apps were cut in the background. So I want to say maybe that it's an issue on iOS 12 that it keeps, that refreshes all stock apps for some reason. Battery life is definitely better on iOS 10.3.3, sadly big time guys. I mean, uh, even though this phone has a higher wear level on iOS 12, but still, the, the, the difference is really, really high, guys. So, yeah, it's better with power and RAM management. And RAM management is actually worse. So just power. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more content. Peace out.